Boom. This is the first episode mm-hmm. on AD1102 Entertainment. Oh, yeah. I am your host, Kishan Chadwick. This is also the host, oh, yeah. Dede. Um, we're your podcast favorite pod, bro. Exactly. So we came to talk about anything and everything, and we just really want to go ahead and get this started off, get everybody in the feels of what we're trying to do here. So, um, man, what you got? First of all, I love that fucking watch. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Watch. <laughs> Shout out to Mons. Uh, what's the name, Brandon? Oh, and then Victor. She gave me the shit from my Yo, last. Yo, that watch is, that watch is both My last shit. birthday. Yeah. Shit, shit dope. Shit, I man. like it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like Shout it. I like it. Mons. Um, yeah, bro. Let me see here. Got some topics. We just want um, to get into this shit. Um, we're going to go ahead and get serious with it. Okay. Um, these mass shootings that's going on, I want to know what's your thoughts on that, bro. Like, how do you feel with everything going on? Um, as a concealed carry owner, man, <coughs> I, I feel a way about it because I know I did my shit the legal way. Mm-hmm. And I did my shit the right way. I waited and I went through all my testing. I feel like it's putting a bad stigma on the people who do carry the right way. Right. And I think as parents, I'm a parent. I have multiple guns, you know, and I have more than one child. And we got to make sure we teach our kids gun safety. Yeah. You know, I, I don't stray away from my son shooting guns, but also got to teach them discipline. Right. When it comes to these mass shootings, they are. It's kind of fucked up and they're blaming it on mental health. Mental health, that's always the number one thing. But I don't I don't believe it's all mental health. I believe, motherfucker, you just got a problem and you need your ass whooped. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you really need your ass whooped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there, there's no way in hell the, these people. Just like the um, the shooting in the in the grocery store grocery against store. all the black people in Buffalo. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Buffalo, all black people died, bro. It was nothing but black people dying. That this stuff is orchestrated, and these people are not stupid. They're far from dumb. So, and you realize how that just like that that shit went straight under the rug. Like you don't hear about that shit no more. But no. one thing. Like hear that's, about Texas. That's what I'm saying. You hear about the Texas though, which I mean that was how many people was it that died in that? I think. Mm, it was like 12. 15, 19. Yeah, something like that. I mean, which is a little worse, but still, bro, in a grocery store you got eight blacks. And it's just crazy how like that shit gets swept under the rug. And then you had a Texas shooter, which to me is actually kind I guess kind of worse. I mean, losing a life regardless. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, what yeah. I, We're only not thing I'm saying is, anything. yeah, the only thing I'm saying is that it's kids, which to me it kind of it's like, damn, that's even more sadder in a way because it's kids that you know what I'm saying that die. And what the fuck has a child done? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, a child. So I mean, in a way that's kind of worse. But my only point is like. That shit got swept under the rug. Like, black, you know what I'm saying? That happened to black folks. But black when, and it's, when it's whites and, you know what I'm saying, Hispanics, it's like that shit is talked about. And that shit was talked about for a long time. But what happened to the black people in Buffalo, swept under the rug. And you don't, you don't even hear about it anymore. Well, I mean, these people have groups. These people are talking on, like, Reddit and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's orchestrated. Right. So... I don't believe there's no such thing as I don't believe in coincidences. I don't I don't believe that there's something that just Oh, well there's a mass shooting here. Oh, there's a mass shooting here. No, these motherfuckers are talking to each other somehow some way, right, about this and somehow they all group together and I don't understand how the police or the feds don't understand that. Right. So yeah, man. It's it's crazy. And it was just another one. Oh, it was a church shooting in Alabama think today today yep alabama a church shooting <laughs> rest shit. in peace to those people man this I, I don't happening bro like you can't you're not safe anywhere nah you're, you're not ready. safe anywhere you got to stay home you're not it's like it's like we had a pandemic and now we're in a, a mass <coughs> shooting epidemic yeah i mean movie theaters grocery stores i mean 
shit can happen anywhere, bro. And you're right. Like you say, bro, you ain't safe. You was not safe. But uh, moving on just a little bit, I want to hit on one of the topics that you hit on on your actual separate podcast that you do on Unveil Your Cloud. Um, and I, I like the points I was talking about with you and the uh, other guy you had up there. Um, Shout out to Nathan Forbes. Yep. Uh, one thing I hit on was uh, fear. Yeah. And like, I agree with him on one thing. Uh, it, what was the question again? Like, what do you fear? Um, yeah, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? What's your biggest fear? And I just want to hit on one of mine's, and it's kind of one of the same as Nathan's, yo. Like, my biggest fear is not succeeding in life. Like, I feel like I'm not going to... I don't want to die without having to... Without, like, doing everything I set forth to do. Or not at least trying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not even just giving a worth and, like... Uh, as Steve Harvey would say, like taking that risk, and you know what I'm saying, you got to take that leap of faith and jump. And of like, that's my main fear, like dying, not actually trying. So that's that's one of my things that I wanted to hit on. Which, if you can tell the people now, this on our yeah. platform. So our our biggest my one of my biggest fears. Um, my mother passed away about two years ago, and um. She didn't have anybody there, meaning romantically, she didn't have somebody that took care of her. Right. She died lonely and alone. My, one of my biggest fears is dying and not having somebody there by my side. Um, right. It's it's a difficult thing because I believe everybody. There's somebody for everybody. Yeah. You know, and, and I believe, you know, people like my grandparents, I, I aspire to my grandparents. They've been together. Oh, my God. Just me and you put together. <laughs> yeah. You know, when, when when my granny passes away, my pappy's probably not far from it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like that that's love, unconditional love that I fear I won't have before right. I pass away. You know what I'm saying? But um what what's your calling? You you said that you didn't have <coughs> you didn't you 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 feared not succeeding in in something that you're that's supposed the to thing, do. Do you man. know your calling? I, I don't and that's like what I'm still trying to figure out cuz I'm just one of those people that's like I do a lot of things and I don't know I actually pray to God and like ask like, yo, what is my gift? Like, what am I supposed to do when it's like, what was I put here to do? Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I, I do feel like one of, I honestly feel like one of my gifts is, is being versatile at more than one things. Um, one thing that I can say, I, I dibble and dabble in a lot of things, man. I DJ, I do photography, videography. I, I can fight. I was boxing. <laughs> And that was one of my dreams, too, was, like, being a professional boxer. And I, I still think I can do it if I really want to. Um, I now think I want to be a filmmaker and start doing films, short films. I DJ. That's that's not my passion, but I just like doing it uh, for a good side gig and, like, a business. I really do love music, though. Mm -hmm. So I really do love it. But I don't think that's my passion. I also cut hair. I went to barbering school. I didn't, I. I don't got my barber license or anything yet. I'm working on it. Um, I do enjoy cutting hair, but I don't feel like that's my passion. Um, I, and I love music. I can. I record. Um, I record people. I make songs. I rap a little bit. I'm not saying I'm a rapper, but I do have some songs. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like for some reason, I haven't figured it out yet, man. I feel like everything that I'm doing that I'm being versatile with, I feel like it's for a reason. It might be to to direct films. It may be. It, it, so, it sounds to me, man, just listening to all the things that you do, listening to all the jacks of and trades that you have, it sounds like you give everybody an outlet, man. You give other people an outlet to be able to be free. Come on, man. Think about when you get a haircut, nigga. I need one right now. <laughs> I'm looking wolf. <coughs> you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like... When 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 somebody's done seeing Day Day, they feel good. I, I've seen 
you know, talk of the day podcast. Shout out to again Day Day's podcast. When when we're done, when we wrap up, we still have great conversation, and After, when we leave, yeah. we feel good. Right. We got something off of our chest. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's one of my callings. People feel open to talk to me, and it's easy to talk to me. You, you know what I'm saying? It's at home therapy. Right, right. You know, I, you make people feel good. You're a DJ. You make you give an outlet for people. Right. So I ain't, I ain't think of it that way. It, it really sounds like it. I, I mean, and you're great at it. You're an, you're an amazing person. You listen. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That that's the hardest thing for people to do, especially this day and age, is fucking listen. <laughs> right. <laughs> like shut the fuck up. And it was listen. funny, like you're saying on uh, on Vera Cloud, how like you'll tell somebody something and they don't get it, and you get mad because they don't <laughs> understand it. It was the way you was writing it. Yeah, but that shit was it was funny, like how you said it. I, I mean. It, it's difficult for me to get shit out So yeah. I mean it's best to probably just listen Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying But what what, what else we got man uh, What else Moving on Moving on mm-hmm. I can see you playing soccer right now girl <laughs> It's like a beast too mm-hmm. Uh did you see uh, This kind of random Did you see Black Did you know that Black China Had a celebrity boxing match Yeah You did You see yeah, that yeah. shit That's I didn't just, watch it But, I, watch but it. I heard of it I just I ain't even know I just They're I just doing a lot of that though. shit right now Right now um, Shit current news um, Nick Young is fighting um, Blueface For real Yeah Oh shit I ain't know that yeah, that's coming up, nigga. <laughs> and, okay. and yo, and he looks like he's taking it serious, yo. I'll leave a little bit of couple. <laughs> I'll leave some couple clips down nah, here, the man. Niggas do be serious though. Yeah, Blueface looked like. I mean, he ain't coming out with no motherfucking he had hits. A, I think he had one. He he had one. No, but he's still going. Yeah, yeah, because he he fought a, a white guy, I think, and he fucked him up. Yeah, if I ain't mistaken. Yeah, I think he fought a white guy. He fucked him up, but it, it was like kind of. Um, I think it was like kind of unmatched, but him and Nick Young. That'd be a good one. They got like six yeah. fucking seven though. Shit. But Blueface tall too though. He's yeah, like, nah, like he's a linky motherfucker. Yeah, he a linky dude. He like six. Dude. You know who I'm, you don't want to know celebrity I want to see fight? I was gonna ask you. Wiz, Khalifa. Yeah. yeah. Who? I don't give a fuck. I want to see him fight Gilly because they was fussing. Were they really? Yeah. It was, hey, I mean, now, it was, it was like he got little hands, boy. He, he do, got though. Hands. Yeah. Nah, he, he got hands. I would like to see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you said you said you were a boxer, correct? Yeah. You are a boxer, correct? Yeah. So, I've always wanted to ask this question. I'm pretty sure I think you and Fu <clears throat> and... Um, Jeremiah Swift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swift. I just got done watching that today. Mm-hmm. So, this is a question I've always wanted to ask. How come y'all don't be fucking before the fight? I really want to know. Yeah, like, like do, you, is, yeah. do you need the testosterone built up? Like, like, what is the purpose? That's that's what we talked that? about on the on the episode too. Um, twenty two, right? Episode twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty two. All yeah, right, twenty two. We'll have the link right up here. Yeah, because the one we just did with the R and B singers was twenty three. Yeah, um, it's a milf, bro. Because like. It's a myth. The reason why we don't is because they say, and it's not proven, but they say it can take your legs from you. Um, <laughs> okay. They, they say it takes your legs from you, and it's important. In boxing, you got to have your yeah. legs. Your legs are important because everybody think in boxing is just about these, but no, your footwork feet, gotta be your impeccable. footwork, your, why you think Muhammad Ali, you know what I'm saying, the, the shuffle, Ali shuffle. Um but nah, it's really about footwork. Like if you go to a boxer, a real trainer, mm. they're gonna treat, they're gonna teach you footwork before they teach you punches and jabs and hooks, cause it's about your feet. That's the most important thing. So you gotta have your feet. But speaking from experience, me, cause I'm a horny dude, I still gotta have sex. But when I was fighting, I try to, I try to. I try not to do legs. nothing for that week. You yeah. Lost your legs? Yeah. I mean, while I'm training and just going to practice and shit, mm. you know, fucking, I mean, it's just practice. You can feel that difference. You really can. So, so okay, is it, <coughs> all right, now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to get in your business. I'm going okay, to get in your business. So, is that is that like just sex? Can you jack off? Busting or or is it just busting it's, a nut? It's period. just busting a nut, period. 
You can jack you off your legs. And it's going to be the same thing You can lose your legs You can jack off You're going to lose your legs well, I was shit I was boxing when I was about I started and I was like 17, 18 Yeah, I don't shit I don't beat my meat a couple times Probably went to practice or something Or whatever Just busting a nut pig And got the wind knocked out your shit Yeah, it's Nah, I ain't never got it. Oh, oh Well, oh. nah When I first started Yeah, I mean I ain't gonna lie Well I ain't gonna say I got the, the wind knocked off But I don't have some bloody noses some some banging my very first sparring match, I not had a, a banging ass headache. I mean, dude, fucked me up, bro. I think I tears are coming out my eyes when I on that ride home. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna cap. Shout out to Marcus Levesta. He the one that did it. I ain't never tell him, but he the one that did it. <laughs> you heard it first. You yeah, heard it first. Right. Well, you can get it now, nigga. Nah, he's a professional uh, UFC fighter. Shout out to Marcus. Stay in Jayville. Okay. Um, okay. But nah, man, yeah, uh, and, I, and speaking, uh, when I talked to Swift, I mean, I asked him too, because like, for experience, and he don't have sex himself, he said, but me, I try not to do it the week before, like, my actual fight, because mm. I'm still going to fuck, like, I got to, but if I was a professional fighter, like, and really, really was on my shit, getting paid for it and all that, during training camp, I probably wouldn't, for real, and it, it's discipline, like, okay. it'll be hard as hell, but I, I could do it. So what what's your what's your routine like like give give me that day to day that that that, <coughs> that week of give me that routine of what you would do the week of a fight the week of a fight because like, I know it has preparing. to be mental yeah yeah preparing like um the the main thing really is just eating like watching what you're eating um you're still trying to by that time you should be close to your weight or if not at your weight trying mm-hmm. to maintain your weight me i would be pretty much at my weight just trying to maintain it um so i gotta really watch what i'm eating um and you know just going to practice of course uh watching what you're eating just working techniques and things like that and the main thing is really just food bro you gotta watch you really gotta watch what you're eating and you so just you practice a, you a fruit person on that week or you you Cause I, I've seen I've seen like like Brock Lesnar that mm-hmm. motherfucker and um, George Saint Pierre, all he eats is fruit. Yeah. For that whole week, that's it. Fruit. I try I try to be like I really was making like a lot of smoothies and shit. I bought like frozen. I brought me a little blender. I would do my frozen fruits. Um, make my little uh, smoothie shits um, with protein shake. Mm. But I'm not gonna lie, like. Like I said, I'm not professional. I don't got no shelf. Like, I'm going to eat regular food, you know. I'll still go have some little fast food and whatnot. I would try to cut it out, but sometimes, I, I mean, I, I just go eat. Or I have my girl cook something healthy, like um, maybe something healthy, really. I like stir fry a lot. I try to eat some stir fry. Just I try to cut out the fast food. Um, so I try to eat some cooked meals, you know what I mean? Like, okay. you know, stir fry yeah. things like that, rice and shit. But... And I'll drink some smoothies. I make some smoothies in the morning and shit like that. Train and just watching my weight. Um, what what inspired you to um to take up boxing? Uh, I always wanted to fight for real, for real. I really wanted to be a UFC fighter. What stopped me from not wanting to do that was seeing that Cali flow on your fucking color. ear. Yeah, I don't oh, like that, bro. Man. And I, I used to look at that like I don't want no Cali. They call it Cali flower or whatever they call it. Cali flower. Cali, yeah, I'd be like, I don't want that shit. So, but you can get it in boxing too, which a lot of people don't really know. You can get that shit in boxing. Um, mm. I think Holyfield had it. Um, the dude that Tyson bit his. I yeah, think he had it. Here. It's a lot of boxers that got the Cali flower shit. But I really wanted to be a UFC fighter. But that's one thing that stopped me from not doing it. Um, cause I always wanted to like fight, fight, like street fight. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like kicks, on the brawl punching, and shit. yeah, brawl. But I don't know. Um, that that's one reason that stopped it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm a box instead. And I started off in Jacksonville, and I started loving that shit, man. And I was always growing up. I was a hothead. Like, well, not a hothead. I ain't been in a lot of fights, but the fights that I have been in, it was something about it, and I liked it. Like the fights I've been in, it's like this adrenaline that I get. Fucking and like, releasing dopamine in this nigga. Yeah, and system. it's like I liked it, bro. I don't know what it is, but I liked it. And I always wanted to fight. I really did. It's just at that time coming up in New Bern, we didn't have any boxing gyms. We didn't have we didn't have anything. That's why when I started, I started off in Jacksonville because that was the closest boxing gym I could find. 
it was either Jacksonville or Wilmington. It, we didn't have we didn't have it. And if we would have had it, I really feel like I would have took boxing up before other than basketball, football, track. Like I really would have been boxing as a younger, you know what I'm saying, as a younger mm. kid. But we didn't have that coming up here in North Carolina. That's just not one of the things we got. We so do now, but me and my homeboy the Coven, shout out young dagger dick. You feel me? We had a fucking idea. So anybody who who lives in New Bern, North Carolina, knows about the old B and N in Craven Terrace, <coughs> right? Opening that place up to be a boxing ring for people to be able to fight who who got beef, so we could stop the fucking shooting out here. Yeah, and whoever Promotes whoever got a beef, yeah, yeah, whoever got a beef, like, come hit one of us up. Say it, no phones. Shit. Yeah. No phones. And if something happens to the other person, then we would have to testify in court saying that we think right. let's get back. Right. We think that'd be only only fair. Right. You feel me? So I think that we would that'd need be dope. That. Yeah. Nah, that that would definitely stop a lot of things. Cause People so quick to go to the gun, man, nowadays, especially, like, people my age. It's just everybody so quick to go to the gun. And it shit not like it used to be. Like, I like that old school way, man. Let's fight this shit out. Yeah. You win, you stick, win. Nigga. You lose, you lose. But that's the that's the thing, too. Like, I low-key still feel like even if that were to happen, I feel like the person that lost would still envy that and would try to, like, get them after the fact, maybe. I don't know. And, 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 but but see, that's like what you I'm say saying. that court. We thing, would right? have to testify. Yeah, yeah. So that's saying, that's a good idea. Yeah, though. you know what I'm yeah. saying. You you can't now unless y'all want to rematch. Then go get right. your guns up. Go get your your guns up, and let's go. Yeah, yeah. Facts. We can do a rematch. That's a fact. Nah, that that's good though. And I pay like for idea. entry for whoever wants to watch. I like that idea. They be doing that shit in like Florida. Um, I forget the name, but I be watching the shits. They be having like a little. Uh, street fights and shit. Yeah. But well, I call it street fights, but it be like backyard fights and shit. Kind of like how Kimbo and them used to do back in yeah. the day. It's like on some shit like that, but it's organized and they have a ring, they have a glove, and they actually have somebody like refer refereeing and shit. Mm. And it's people that's having beef, um, who just come together and fight for real, for real. Kind of like on the Kimbo shit that back shit. in the day. We need that shit, man. That'd be dope because we don't too got many people they shooting do that each shit. other. Yeah. And shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's probably over some money or some baby mama. Like, like it don't even really matter for real. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and fight it out and be done with it. You feel me? Yep. But and going back to your girl Black Channel, she lost though. Did she? Yeah, that shit was whack. Like they, that shit was whack. It's crazy. I was gonna go back back on some shit too. So you know Mike Tyson actually branded that ear shit. Like biting, biting the ear. So. He has <coughs> THC gummies, and they're called ears, and oh, they're shit. fucking ears. That like you ear eat. gummy. Yeah, I ain't know that. Yo, yeah, you gotta watch it. It's um on Hot Boxing. That's his Hot podcast. Boxing. Yeah, I watch. Yeah, I watch. he talked about it. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, the last it. interview, the game. Um, when he was doing, the, doing the, game. the game. Yeah, I, I meant to watch it too. I watched some of it, but they I did some fucking the shrooms. Thing. They got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they got fucked. I seen up. he got. Uh, um, sound like a pair of gloves. He was like, "Let me get them gloves." Something he said at the game. Yeah. And uh, he got the gloves off his wall for him to sound them and gave them to him. Yeah. What else you got? You, know, you got anything yeah. else? Uh, you got about six more minutes. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. What shit? It's just it's, yeah. It's one of the main ones. It's a good way to end it. Keep uh, it um, simple. Mental health, bro. Mental health. What about it? Why is mental health so important? Because we don't have any outlets anymore. We, nobody believes in motherfucking in therapy. I'm in therapy. I go to therapy twice a motherfucking um twice a month, and I believe that it's done good for me. It's held myself accountable. Mm -hmm. Um. So you you wholeheartedly believe in therapy. Oh, I believe in lifelong therapy. Lifelong. Um, Explain that. Lifelong. Just. I believe for. So, you know how black men, we all have that lifelong barber. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. I see where you're going. 
you know what I'm saying? Lifelong barber. I believe you should have a lifelong therapist. No matter how you you don't have to be bad off to to go to therapy. Right. You can simply you need help with a decision. So you throw it right on top. Um you could simply just need it. You know what I'm saying? Just to say, okay, there's a decision that needs to be made. Right. And you need some help with it. So, I mean, I, I wholeheartedly believe that you should seek a therapist. Even if it, I don't believe in the online shit, you know, the the, um, <coughs> the Zoom, call Zoom call shit. Right now, right now person. I'm doing Zoom because, COVID I, I, yeah, COVID. But ain't nothing like that in-house therapist. Right. And you couch, find the right one. Sessions. Yeah. A lot of people feel like, first, when I first started therapy, I'm just like, yo, motherfucker, you, 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 you get paid just to watch me boo-hoo, you know what I'm saying? But I went through five fucking therapists. I went through five of them. So I'm like, yeah, I don't right like you. For you. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I got you. Yeah. But you also got to be real with yourself. Because sometimes you need that that therapist that's gonna be like, ah, yeah, not sugar shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So shout out to my motherfucking therapist. I love you to death. You are the shit. I appreciate you. You f- you prefer male or female? So I prefer female simply because my mom died. <laughs> right. My mom died. I, I kind of need that motherly, that 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 woman perspective on shit. And most of my issues be in relationships. Mm-hmm. It don't really be in like everyday situations or issues that I may have. Right. So I definitely like the woman's perspective. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Get more of that. Yeah, way. yeah. Mental health is 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 key. <coughs> it's key, man. Nobody else is gonna take care of you but you. But you, All right? So. A lot of people spend money on weed, spend money on drugs, they yeah. liquor. They cope that way, but why not cope to talk? And and that's their outlet, but not, why not cope and talk to somebody? That same amount of money is the money I'm putting into my therapist. Right. Yeah. And I'm drug free. I don't, I barely drink. The last time I drank was on Talk of the Day podcast mm-hmm. with, with, with Michaela, and I haven't smoked weed It's been a minute. Yeah. It's been a hot minute. So, I mean, nah, man. Put all that money. Invest in yourself, man. Invest in yourself. <coughs> That's a fact. Well, hey, first episode, we got it down. We finally did it. There we have it. AD. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. AD 1102 Entertainment, man. Y'all tune yes, in. Sir. Make sure y'all click subscribe, like, share, and, and drop some comments on... <laughs> what y'all would like us to talk about if y'all have any yeah. questions i'll leave an email at the end and just submit your questions even if you can't make it as a guest that's a fact i'll holla at y'all man we out in the- Oh, 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 oh,